Well, time now it is 6.46 and new this morning, the story of Jerry Yellen, an American fighter pilot who flew the final combat mission of World War II. But that distinction is not why Jerry's story is resonating in Central Ohio this weekend. His story is now a movie, debuting Sunday night here in Columbus. The message behind Jerry's last mission is quite timely. Jerry Yellen flew 19 missions over Japan during World War II. It was a deep, deep hatred. I never thought about them as being human beings. I look out there now, I can't believe that we were enemies. In the movie, Jerry talks about the journey no one expected, not even him. 42 years after the war, my youngest son was in Japan and wanted to marry the daughter of, of a Japanese uh, kamikaze pilot. Jerry's other son, Michael, described to me what came next between two wartime pilots across enemy lines. Once they connected, they, they realized they had so much in common uh, and they became and they became, um, you know, best best friends and, and brothers at that point. Vicki and Alan Wasserstrom were so moved by the film, their Columbus based family foundation brought Jerry's last mission to the Columbus Jewish Film Festival as the finale. It could have gone in their direction. He could have he could have really hung on to the hatred and he could have um, lived his life a very bitter person. But instead, he was able to open his heart. And I think that was another piece of this film that really grabbed me was the fact that he was able to change even in an older age. But beyond Jerry's story of transformation, of hatred to love and enemies to family, it's also a story about a veteran who suffered in silence, yet found a way out through meditation. And it's a current issue and ongoing, and I thought the story of veterans, mental health, and all that needed to be told. Movie director Luisa Marino. If you really bring it down, you know, Jerry's story just really brings it down to the heart of it, of, you know, the humanity of it, which really, really translates to everything that's happening. So, I mean, I think it couldn't be more timely. It just resonates with people. It, it brings people to tears. We are all human beings together on this planet, period. But it, it also gives people hope. Thank you for your time. So Jerry's last mission will be shown Sunday night at the Columbus Museum of Art. That's at 480 East Broad Street. Tickets are selling out fast. Mm. And um, some of the smaller film festivals that have been showing Jerry's last mission sell out quickly. So you can go to feature links at 10 for that ticket information. But, you know, it's quite a moving film, only an hour long, less mm -hmm. than that. But certainly a huge so message. So much in that 60 minutes. Yeah, that a lot. Story. From good. enemies to family. Mm -hmm. When you were explaining this to us, mm -hmm. you're like, Wait, what? Right. And think about from the Japanese pilot's family, where mm -hmm. they also said, wait a minute, yeah. you were so against the Americans for so mm -hmm. long, so why a change of heart? And he said, if Jerry flew that many combat missions, I want the blood of that courageous man wow. in my grandchildren. Huh. Mm -hmm. So you just kind of get goosebumps when so you So Sunday afternoon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I might be late to work on Monday, y'all. Yeah. <laughs>